So Julie, so excited to have you back on the show again. I know when we talked to you uh, the first time, uh, not too long ago, I think maybe about 19 months ago, you had <laughs> just taken your role mm -hmm. as the Executive Director of the Arts Foundation of Cape Cod. Uh, you were very new then. We talked about some goals. Uh, talk to me about how things have changed at the Arts Foundation uh, since you've been since you joined. So much has changed. Um, so, like you said, I've been in my role for about 19 months now, and we've had two moves. We <laughs> we've moved back down to, or we've moved down to Main Street Hyannis in a new office above Puritans um, on Main Street. Um, I have a new staff. Um, I have a growing board. We have growing supporters. Um, it's been a really amazing, almost two years now, of, um, of growing the Arts Foundation and all the things that we do. And, you know, uh, how do you like your new location mm -hmm. uh, above Puritan? We love it. We love it. And we've had some of our uh, member artists come in and hang some of their amazing work up. And as I was thanking um, our, our artist, uh, specifically Richard Neal, he gave us the best compliment. He said, oh, it's my pleasure to hang my work here because this is my arts foundation. So to me, that was a real like boost to saying, you guys are doing a good job. This, you're working for us and listening to what um, what the needs are locally for the arts. And, and so interesting that you, uh, this is a per perfect time to talk about <coughs> this, I think. A lot of people don't really understand what the Arts Foundation of Cape Cod does. Mm -hmm. So, well, let's go over and talk about all of the things that you do to support artists in our community. Thanks for asking. <laughs> so the Arts Foundation is um, actually kind of spawned out of the Pops by the Sea. And, um, and we are a funder of the arts first and foremost. Um, so we're here to support, celebrate, and promote arts and culture on Cape Cod and Barnstable County specifically. And so we do this in a few different ways. And the most important way is we raise funds in order to um, give back grants, scholarships, and fellowships back into um, locally, into organizations or individual artists or art students. Um, so we raise money in order to gift those grants. What kind of grants, uh, what, what kind of grants would, uh, or what purpose would an artist be applying for a grant uh, from the foundation? So we do, every year we have, we've grown our fellowship program. Um, and so that's where we give individual artists uh, some funding. And so right now we have three categories and it's actually just wrapped up. So we're in the process of reviewing some of the applications, but they're within uh, written word, visual arts and performing arts. And so an artist would, it, this is really strictly like gifting them the funds in order for them to pay rent, buy supplies, um, anything that would help them do their craft. Uh, what we ask in return is that they stay and work here on the Cape and, um, and work with us throughout the year as our fellow recipients. <coughs> Excuse me, this year um, we actually had a great partnership with our visual arts recipient Jackie Reeves, who also became our POPs commemorative painter. And so it's been a really great, we, uh, we often create these great partnerships with, uh, with our fellowship recipients. And then as far as our grants go, we've been really able to increase the grant funding this year. And some interesting things that we saw this year uh, for requests were in the arts heel kind of category. So we saw everything from the conservatory, working with um, Parkinson's patients to with this uh, Sing for Joy program. Uh, we were a partial funder of that and we found that to be really interesting and very productive. The caregivers that we met with just love the program. It's adding so much joy and comfort into those, um, those lives. We're also working with the Barnstable Senior Center this year where they have a, an art program for dementia patients that they have in their day program. And we just find this to be really um, critical work. Uh, to me, it's, that's the other part of what the Arts Foundation does is to advocate uh, for what the arts can provide here on the Cape. So often the, um, the arts are kind of, I think sometimes people just think it's nice and not necessary, but we know that it's absolutely necessary in order to have a thriving community, a thriving neighborhood to have arts involved. So that's the other part of my job is to really advocate to make sure that the arts are at every table from healthcare, opioid crisis to housing. We all share those 
those societal um, issues. And so we feel strongly at the Arts Foundation that, that the arts can help with that healing process and recovery process. So interesting, and I've often thought that art can be very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And interesting to see how many different uses there you're, that you can find uh, mm -hmm. for art. So really awesome mm -hmm. uh, things that you do. Now I know uh, you're also, uh, you also do a lot of work with the summer concert series uh, here right. at Azelton Park and throughout Cape Cod. Um, so you work with, I think, is it TD Bank that helps do that? That's right. TD Bank is our major sponsor, and we produce about 35 concerts uh, from Falmouth out to Orleans for these summer concert series, and they're free to the public. And the cool thing about that is that um, it's really for emerging local bands and musicians. So it's we have a focus on this um, the series to really have it thrive. It's it's actually run by our interns in the summer. Our interns are going to be starting in another couple of weeks, so we're we're thrilled to have them back, and it adds so much life to the office and music, which is <laughs> great experience for them as well as they mm -hmm. uh, move throughout their career, uh, mm -hmm. getting some really uh, hands-on experience, running uh, arts events, some really big events. So uh, yeah. really interesting to have for yeah. them to have that opportunity. Have you hired all up? Are you full for interns? Or are we're you still taking applications? Interns, yeah, we hire early on, probably in the January, February time frame. Uh, we hire three and um, my we have a small staff and we kind of divide and conquer some of the projects and uh, we try to make it as interesting as possible. Now, <laughs> any goals for the future? I know a lot has changed. Oh, we should mention uh, to the pops, uh, pops for sure. Coming. So that is, <laughs> and, and we will say that is one of your biggest fundraisers for the year. So that's that really is, yep. how you bring in the money to give out to the community and really help the art community. That's right. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. Uh, it's always a great event. We love it. It's iconic. We're so lucky to have this event in our, you know, as as one of our events and um, as real, you know. So we have about 10,000 of our friends come to that event every year, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, very exciting. Can't wait uh, to learn more. Thank you for stopping by and giving us an update on everything that the uh, Arts Foundation of Cape Cod is doing. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. My guest today is Julie Wake. She, of course, is the Executive Director of the Arts Foundation of Cape Cod. Now, did